Hello everybody, Berto Guy here, and welcome back. Alright, so we're back on Satisfactory. Oh yeah, baby. So, uh, the last thing we did was uh, the power slug. So, we'll let her do her little the power slug The crystals on thing. this slug can be harvested and converted into a power shard that functions with current fix-it technology. Several buildings would be capable of performing over 100% capacity, if infused. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Alright, so now what that means is uh, those power slugs that we've been finding all over the place. Um, oh, I actually gotta go research it first. That's pretty stupid. But that's okay, because it's gonna be part of our research uh, thing today, because what we're gonna do today is we're gonna clear up all these last little bit of research that we have to do, so <clears throat> I've been letting the uh, things run for quite a while, so it uh, won't take too long to do, so uh, let's do this one first, just to give us something to talk about afterwards, so that will go, Oop. and in 2 minutes and 25 seconds that will return, so in the meantime, I can explain just a little bit of the things I've been doing in the meantime. So I put up a new biomass burner. These ones here are like two of these, okay? So they burn um, 40 megawatts, because I think I had, or no, these are 20 megawatts each. Oh, so maybe these are just one, just like one of those. Huh. I thought it was double. I could be mistaken, but I, maybe because we had 40 before, right? Yeah, that's right. So, yeah, that's exactly right. They only give you 20. That's unfortunate. I thought they'd give you more. But that's fine. Um, then, over here, the reason why I did that is because over here I connected the last one. And this one here is making me screws. And there we go. We got a bunch of screws being made because those screws are used for reinforced plates. You need 24 screws and four plates to make a reinforced plate. So yeah, pretty amazing. So that's pretty much all what I've been doing here. Um, concrete's been still going strong, well as strong as one impure node can go. Eventually, I might go hook up that other one. I'll probably end up hooking up uh, at least a couple more containers to this, so that way I can get uh, more being stored while. That way, when it gets full, well, it can keep going, right? I haven't done anything upstairs with the copper node yet. I just kind of ran back and forth and grabbed what I needed uh, with the portable miner there. So we got another 42 seconds till that comes back. We don't have enough um, body parts yet. I can get two more over here, so maybe we can go do that. Yeah, let's go do that. <clears throat> Let's go do that. At least we can get two more over here that I know of. Where are you guys? Click them nuts. Hello. I know you're out here somewhere, but where are you? Yeah, there's usually two, two guys out here. I haven't taken them out. Oh yeah, here we go. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, that was close. Oh, not enough space. That's fine. I'll make space. Excellent. Excellent. What do I got on me that I could just possibly toss away? Nothing. I'll be right back. Since uh, things don't despawn in this game, those will stay there forever until I pick them up, which is pretty cool. I like that aspect of this game. The fact that nothing actually really despawns. So. <clears throat> now that we did the overclock thing, let's go and do the personal storage. So we'll select this milestone. We'll toss in a bunch of plates here. Uh, I need a hundred of them. And there we go. We'll s Actually, I'll sort that first, then send you on your way. Oops, I did it again. Milestone reached. And Additional off you storage go. options have been provided. R&D inflated your pocket dimension and developed a personal storage box accessible in the build menu. Perfect. So now I can build those little red boxes all over the place. So, yay. And that means I get some extra slots here too as well, which is pretty handy dandy. Pretty happy with that. 
<clears throat> now we got about a minute and 30 seconds before the other one gets back. Very good, very good. Um, yeah, I wanted to throw these in here. Throw those in there, throw those in there. Sort and sort. Alright, so I need four more of those body parts. Uh, anything new worthwhile? Uh, one of these, we can do these one eventually. Uh, these beacons are pretty cool. They're like waypoint markers that you can put all over the place. And then that way, if you go adventuring, you could leave a marker to, um, to say where things are. And eventually, I think we get a map too, but uh, I think that's in the experimental version. Um, I'm hitting the Z button that it's mapped out to, and nothing is happening. So I don't think we're going to get the the new stuff just yet. But that's pretty fine because then we can work on uh, just concentrating on our our small stuff first, and it'll give time for the new update to come out and all that good stuff. So we got about another 34 seconds. Um, there is a power slug up there I'd like to go get. Uh, well, I think this way is the fastest way. We'll go up there and get that power slug. That would be pretty awesome. Uh, so far, I think I've only grabbed the one that was there. So this one would be a good one to grab. If I find any more enemies along the way too, that would be very good. Because then uh, I can get some more of those body parts, which would be pretty wicked. Uh, I collected that. <clears throat> oh, there's another power slug there, so that's good. All kinds of them all over the place. I'm sure there's enemies up here. I'm pretty darn sure. Usually, I think there was. I've never been up here yet. But I think in the last playthrough I did, there was enemies up here, so... We'll just be careful. Uh, and there we go. They're right there. So, oh. Toro, Toro. I'll take that. Yeah. Good stuff. Oh, you got me. Only one left. One shot left on you. Where are you going, buddy? Don't run from me. Oh, that was a bad jump. Okay, I got gotcha. you. Good stuff. All right, so let's go up here and get that uh, that green green slime power slub slug <laughs> slub. All right, where the heck is he? There he is. You tricky little bugger, you. I'd like to be able to get that other one over there on that rock, but it's uh, it's protected by some horrible gas. Um, there's another one on that tree over there. Maybe I can get that one. I'd like to try to get as many power slugs as I kind of can at first. Oh, there's one right here, too. That's good. That's good to see. Good to see. Because then we can make power, um, those power shards, those overclocking shards there, which would be excellent. Those we're going to gonna use once we get uh, faster belts. And then that way we could pump out more uh, more stuff out of our mines, which is very, very awesome. Okay, so there's another one there, too. Oh, there's all kinds of them around here. Well, that's good. Let's just kind of take another way down. I thought I seen something else over there. Uh, eventually, once you... Um, I think you can put these onto a detector and you can go around detecting power slugs so that's kind of a cool thing all right let's go over here hey i made it down without killing myself that is friggin awesome okay keep an eye out for some bad guys because you never know man you never know so we'll grab these grab this power slug awesome 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 all right, so I'll just grab these nuts while I'm here. Uh -huh. And uh, I think I've seen some more berries over here, so I'll grab them. <clears throat> Alrighty, excellent. So let's go do some more uh, some more stuff over here. And then maybe I might take a little bit of an adventure to go and get some more power slugs, because there was another one up on that tree we can go get. Yeah. So that's, that's a good thing. 
Oh, there's some more berries up here, I think. Can I get up there? Uh, here we go. Bam. I thought that was coal, right? Yeah. We can take this. That'll be pretty good, because that'll be the first little bit of coal we can get. So that way, when we do get the uh, vehicle, well, we have fuel for that vehicle. That'll be pretty cool. And at least we'll be able to get around a little bit for it. And hopefully that'll get us to, to our next goal, which will be getting coal. Um, oh, there was a cave down here, too. I know there was nothing in it, and there was a bunch of mycelia, and that stuff you can research. That I remember. Do a little bit of cave spelunking and picking up a bunch of this at the same time. You need quite a bit of it, actually. Uh, which is your flashlight again? Kind of can't remember. Oh, it's there on the board. V. All right, that's good. So we got a little bit of a flashlight going on here. Just pick up as much of this as I possibly can. Uh, what is in here? Oh. What happened? What hit me? What was that? Hey. What hit me? That's not cool, man. I don't see what hit, what hit me. What? Is there like a spider or something in here? Or a bunch of spiders, maybe? That's really weird. I hear something. Don't see anything, though. Look at this. A summer stoop. That's cool. That's cool. Is there anything else in here, though? Other than, like, mycelium? I'm not complaining because we get to make stuff with this and gives us something else us to research, which is good. I don't see anything else in here though. Wonder what was hurting me. That was really weird. That was very weird. I wonder if it's this stuff right here. What is this? Well, it's just different types of mycelia, I guess. Oh, I'll just Keep picking it up. You never know. It might come in handy to make something good. Still nothing yet. Hmm. I don't know how much of this stuff I've picked up. <laughs> and this brings us up top into another section of the world, I believe. Not too far from base. Let's go see. Let's go explore. Yeah, I think base is just like on the other side here somewhere. Yeah, just over here. Yeah, so I'm just on the other side. That's that's not so bad. I'll just run around this side. <clears throat> A little bit faster, I think. Let's see if I can see any more power slugs that are nearby. Other than the one that's on that uh, wall way over there. <clears throat> I'd have to build a tower to get up to him. But, uh, yeah. We'll get back and do some more research. That's what we need to do. Research and pick up more of those, uh, send that dropship out again. So we can do some more advancements and try to get through this as fast as we can, right? And that way, once we get, uh, enough technology unlocked, then we'll be able to start kind of concentrating on the base that we're going to design. Um, I don't want to make literally one of every item and just have like a factory for that. That's just kind of a waste for me in a sense. So let's go in here first. Uh, mycelium. There we go. You can start scanning that and we'll choose the next one. So, if we come over here, right, we've got these power shards. Navigation and tidiness, R&D, have developed stairs and conveyor walls. Nice, so I unlocked a bunch of walls and stuff like that. So say, I use these power shards, right? 
Well, I could be able to overclock these buildings so that way they can produce a lot more stuff. So I'm just going to go this as, a, as an example here. I put one here. That would get it to what? Uh, I don't know if it tells me. Yeah, 90 per minute. Then, say if I did this one, it'd get 120 per minute. And if I put in the last one, it would give me 150 ore per minute. So that's pretty intense. That is really, really intense. So I think that's a pretty, really neat thing that we can do. Um, there we go. Oh, I think I tripped the power at the same time too, so... Because as, as you overclock stuff... There we go. So as you overclock stuff, you obviously are going to uh, suck more power too. So that's kind of like the drawback as well, but that's the whole point of those power shards. Um, so that way you can get more out of the miners and I think the miners are probably like the only thing really in my opinion right now are worth putting them into these summer sleep things I don't know what they are yet uh, these can all go back in there I'll free me up some more spot uh, there's more mycelium stuff to do so and then we only need two more kills and we can uh, do the next one so this is back. That's good. That's good. We can do the next one now. Let's go over here. Uh, object nut scanner. Okay. Well, I may as well get those over and done with. Those don't. Uh, those don't get sent off anywhere. So um, take those. Then these will be on the object scanner now. Same with the berries. Excellent. Excellent. So we just went through those really quick. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Wicked, wicked, wicked. All right, so now, now we're on tier two. So we'll do uh, parts assembly, I guess. I'm gonna need some more plates. So I'll just run over here and grab some more plates. Since uh, we got a whole bunch. There we go, just grab a whole bunch like that. And we'll go back over here and we'll complete some more. I'm gonna take that. Uh, light off. So 300 plates, 300 rods, and 500 of that, 100 of this. Perfect. So that's going to go off and do Milestone its little thing. More complex assembly of parts can now Perfect. Be automated. In the meantime, let's go over and see if we can get that power slug. Because <clears throat> that's what we need next. Well, we don't really need them, but it gives us something to do in the meantime for the five minutes to go by. And maybe we'll find some more enemies. We'll be able to kill some more guys. <clears throat> and then we'll be able to do more some more, ugh, some more research. Uh, that was quite the tongue twister now, wouldn't it? So that thing was over here. There it is. There's that power slug. I wonder if he's being protected by something. Uh, what's this? This here would be Caterium Ore. Oh, I have no idea what that is yet. That's uh, pretty late game stuff, if I'm not mistaken. So, let's see here. Oh, there's another power slug on that tree over there. That's good, that's good. Uh, what do we got here? Oh, these crash pods that are over there. That is really good too. Let's go take a look at it and see what it needs. Um, there's a lot of these things laying around all over the place. Oh, we got ourselves a bad guy here. I wonder if I could take him out before he kills me. Nice. I got you. I barely survived, but that's fine. But we got some wire. Uh, pick up a motor. That's kind of cool. Reinforced plates. Um, anything else lying around here? Uh, some more reinforced plates. Wire. Uh, wire. Okay, now the dropship thing. Oh, there's another motor here. I think that looks like it's about it. That's kind of good. So these dropship things here, you have to open them. It says, uh, 
you need 40 megawatts of power and then you'd be able to open it. Um, not all of them are power, some of them are power, some of them are, um, what the heck, are other parts that you're going to need. And inside them are a hard drive and in there you're going to get like technologies and that's uh, better recipes to do different things. So for example, say that um, to make wire you needed, uh, I don't know, just copper, right? Um, well, that's a bad example. Um, let's go for like reinforced screws. Well, instead of using like wire, uh, not wire, but um, I don't know what the hell, those metal tubes there. Well, that would be, you could use like, I don't know, say rubber as an example, or concrete, you know what I mean? Like, I know that's probably not like a recipe, but it's just an example. It's just an alternate recipe, and that's kind of like all what it is. So, see where we are here. Still want that power slip over there, though. Don't see any more around. Other than that one, which is unfortunate. Um, I do have some more... Some more iron here. These are impure ones, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Both of them are in pure, yeah. Uh, no baddies to fight around here. Just need like one more carcass, I think. Uh, there's some nuts to go pick up. It must be just driving some people nuts that I don't feed myself. Well, I'm so close to my base that I don't really care. Um, if, if I go farther away, well then... Oh, there's all kinds of these nuts around here. Um, if I go farther away, I'll most definitely... Oh, there's a power slug up there, too. I see, should see if I can get that one. Um, yeah, if I go farther away, I'll definitely, like, heal up and, you know, and all that good stuff. And what do we got here? This here is limestone. It's a normal node. Oh, that's cool. Oh, we have a bad guy over here. You gonna come and play? Come and play with me. He just didn't want to play at all. And what do we got over here? An impure limestone. That's fine, that's fine. Oh, what was that? Oh, I think my place just went down. It has no more power, is that possible? Oh no, okay. Where is that power slug? Oh, there it is. And there's another one there, and another one there. There's another one, there's, oh, there's another power slug there. Oh my lord, there's so many of them. Why is there so many power slugs here? Not complaining, but that's friggin' awesome. Alright, let's go over here and see if we can get some of these. Seem to like high places. There's another one there. Oh my god, that's awesome. Uh, come on, I gotta be able to get up here. Yes! Oh no! Why is it doing that? Come on. Get up here. There we go. Weird how it was kicking me off like that. That's pretty good. Okay, so that one's on the edge of something I won't be able to get right now. Um, this one I'm sure I could get. Some more nuts stuff. Oh, little bird. Oh, I'm probably going to have to climb this rock and jump on the other one. That seems viable. It's like a turn into a, a power slug. Power slug. I could probably just jump uh, on it normally, really. Excellent. This is great. This is going to be good for overclocking, everybody. Very good, very good. Um, is there anything else nearby? No, eh? Alright, well then, let's go this way. We'll go and see if we can get these last couple of ones. Alright, that's pretty wicked. And then we'll do some more research. I don't know if I could get that right away. Probably could. 
Looks like there's a step up there, but I'm going to leave it there for now since like it's still like a work in progress. Uh oh, I don't really actually need it, need it, nor do I ne really need these slugs either. They're just nice to get now so that way later on. That kind of scared me there. I wasn't really sure what the heck that was. <laughs> um, nice to get these slugs now and over with and how many are we up to now? We're up to four. Oh, oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm gonna run because I don't think I need any more of those body parts. I think I got more than enough now, and I don't think he's gonna follow me. Probably has no idea where I went to. All right, so we're gonna avoid the stinky stuff. You need a gas mask to go in there, by the way, which um, they do have a gas mask. Uh, it's just slightly down the road from where we are right now. We'll get it though, we'll get there, we'll get there. It's just a question of time. Uh, I see everything. Oh, I must have totally ran out of power now. So that means I'm going to have to go do a biofuel run. Oh, that sucks. So that's one of the reasons why I want to try to get to, um, I want to try to get to the fuel stage there. Oh, I only picked up one of those. Oh, what else did I pick up then? Oh, alien organs. Can those be, uh, those be done too. Are you this say mycelia something? can be used to create fabrics. The derived blueprint is now accessible in Hub Tier 1. Additionally, R&D has requested extra samples to determine the cause of an anomaly. Okay, that's that's good. That's good. Getting some more research done, so that's no complaints there. So we're up to seven of those friggin' power slug things. That's pretty awesome. Uh, put some coal in there because we actually kind of don't need it on us. Um, these motors I don't really need yet, but I'll keep them on me anyways. And that's that. So let's do a little bit more, more stuff here. Tier two, jump pads. So I'm gonna need some more pipes. That's not a problem. Not a problem at all. Should have a whole whack of them in here, even though like we ran out of power. But there we go. I'm gonna grab some more plates at the same time while I'm here. That way I don't have to run back the next time. Hey, that's pretty good. All right, put these guys in here. 200, 200, and 100 wire. Oops, I thought I clicked on that. Excellent. So jump pads, we're gone, so that's four minutes. Alright, um, I'll take a quick little cut there, I'll wait till that comes back. Alright, it just came back, so now we'll do the uh, next one. I'll try to get this over and done with here. We've got walkways left to do. Uh, here we got that. We've got the pipes, and then we just need ten of these. Or, no, it's ten of those. Oops. Send that off and flying. Then that will be the last reached. one. After medical we'll have one last little break. Aimed at factory and then after and that, that'll be our final Walk one. Can now and be then at the beginning of the next needed. episode, we'll place our our space uh space whatever elevator down. We'll put it over here uh, just for now. And then uh, yeah, and then we'll start up on the tier three and higher upgrades, and that's going to start being a little bit more interesting. And as the dropship is dropping in, we'll go and get that last one over and done with. Tier 2, the color gun, we'll accept it. Put in that, 100, and 100. Excellent. There we go. That was all the stuff from Tier 1 and 2 upgraded. This should be almost done now. That's good. All done. This type of mycelia has strong healing properties. R and D has created a blueprint you can access in Hub Tier Three. What's this blueprint before I go? Oh, Hub Tier Three. We don't have that unlocked yet. That will be when we put the space elevator in next episode. So by the time next episode comes back, that thing will be back, and uh, we'll place our space elevator. So thanks for watching, everybody. Peace. Take care, and we'll see you in the next one.